When the Power Rangers series started, all the Rangers were human, but over the years this has changed. Now, there are many different Power Rangers, and some are even further away from our human normality. Let's not talk about the villains or the mentors since we know that almost all of them are beings from other worlds. In this video, I only want to mention the Power Rangers that appear in the TV series since in the comics it is something very different because they can draw anything. We can start by saying that normally humans give orders to dogs. But in Power Rangers SPD there is a dog that gives orders to humans. Commander Kruger which is a human shaped dog that comes from planet Sirius. All the inhabitants of this planet are like Kruger, with a skin full of scales like snakes and some differences. Males have longer ears and their skin color can vary between blue, purple or red regardless of gender. Some of these inhabitants may have dreadlocked hair like the commander's wife had. Although Kruger speaks like a human, when angry he can make noises like a dog. The inhabitants of planet Sirius were the founders of SPD, unfortunately, their planet was destroyed by Emperor Grum, Kruger and his wife are the only known survivors so far in the TV series. Although Kruger is the mentor of SPD, he also becomes a Power Ranger and that's why I mentioned him in this video. In this same season of SPD we can see that all the Rangers are very different and we can mention the whole team, including Cat Manx who comes from a race with feline characteristics like the cats of the earth. The weirdest thing is that we can see that a dog and a cat have fought together as Power Rangers. Still, for me the weirdest one is still the Omega Ranger since he doesn't even have a real body. The Omega Ranger comes from the future and due to time travel, his body became a floating sphere of light. When the Omega Ranger morphs, so he has a body but he must stay with the transformation. Like the entire SPD team, B Squadron, the Omega Ranger named Sam, also has powers. These powers come from experiments Cat Manx was doing on the parents of all these Rangers. Continuing with the list, we can mention two brothers who are very different from the other Power Rangers. Andrus and Astronema, who come from planet KO-35 and both were rangers in Power Rangers in space. The weird thing about all this is Astronema's story as she was a villain, but also became a Power Ranger. When she was little, a villain named Darkonda took her somewhere else and Ecliptor raised her. Because of this, she only learned bad things and became one of the worst villains in the franchise. Astronema was Dark Spectre's lieutenant, basically she was inside the organization of the worst villains in all of space, even so, when her brother realized that she was his sister, he did everything he could to get her out of that mess. One of the things Andrus did was to turn her into a Power Ranger, but this only worked for a very short time, then when Andrus destroyed Zordon, the energy that came out purified Astronema and turned her into a good person. Sometime later she was able to become the Pink Ranger in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy and with this she fulfilled her dream of being a Power Ranger. It's amazing to see how such a cruel villain could become a Ranger. Imagine Divatox becoming a Ranger after all this time. Astronema was also seen in the legendary battle fighting with many ranger teams. 
In this video we can also mention the alien rangers as they were inhabitants of another planet very different from Earth. The alien rangers came to Earth to save the Power Rangers team as they were in danger. Physically, they have some differences from humans, especially their face and head. Another difference is that they need to be very hydrated in order to live since they live underwater on their home planet. Something very rare about these rangers is that they did not use morphers to transform, they only did it with their inner power. One of the stories I like the most is that of Cole Evans, the Red Ranger from Power Rangers Wild Force. His parents were in search of a place called Animarium, which is a floating island that later becomes the base of the Wild Force Power Rangers. In this trip, they took their son Cole with them, and they were also accompanied by a friend named Dr. Victor. This trip was in the Amazon, and they found some seeds that were part of the original Master Org. Victor ate these seeds and became the new Master Org. Cole's mother knew they were in danger so she hit her son and then Master Org wiped out Cole's parents. Master Org never found Cole, but a tribe of local natives were able to find him. After growing up with the tribe, Cole had many skills that made him an excellent candidate to be a Power Ranger. The tribe returns to Cole what his mother left him before hiding him, a picture of his parents and the Red Lion Crystal. Cole then goes to the city to find his way in life and there he meets the Power Rangers and becomes the leader of this team. Because he was raised by a tribe far from the city, he had a bit of a hard time adjusting to society and some thought he was a fool. He also had problems with the former leader of that Wild Force Power Rangers team as they both wanted to be the leader. Cole appeared in the legendary battle and in the Forever Red episode, being the main ranger of this episode as he was part of the Wild Force season. Leave in the comments what other rare rangers appear in the series and which of these is your favorite. If you like different rangers like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Power Rangers weirdness.